ladies and gentlemen. We're having some fun philosophical bantering in the Twitch chat. We're we playing some Japan. Progressive Capitals! I'm playing as Orange in the second seat. I have a Shikaku start. If I cap Shikaku. Do we like that? I don't hate it. Don't hate starting on a four. Go for an early open like this. Hua, fortify into Shugoku. Start kind of mid. Johnny, what you talking about? You talking about eugenics in my chat, sir? Are we do? Are we going down the eugenics road? Is this where you? Oh my goodness! Don't get me started. Any any story that people like to tell that makes any people better or worse than any other people is just one of the funnier ones, man. It's just like pat yourself on the back for being special. People are people. Weak genes from spreading. What does that even mean? <laughs> Crazy. Ashka says, could you talk about a proposed system that you believe would fix errors in the democratic system? Yes. This is my representative. So you start with that, right? Instead of having a political party and you've elected representatives voting on your behalf, you vote on your own behalf. Step one, right? You have a... Uh, du jour representative using the current structure, but you do not have a de facto representative because obviously they utterly fail to represent you because they're not incentivized to do so. I think I can just take Chigoku turn one. Let's see if I get good dice. Yeah, we can just take Chigoku turn one and see if anyone breaks us. Maybe I should turn alliances on. That would have been fun. Maybe red breaks us. I don't know what they do. I don't think they hit a four, right? That'd be fine. What are your thoughts on monarchy? Monarchy seems um, like a nice sort of archaic, you know, middle point, right? The uh, the saying where that we have like medieval institutions and space age, to age technology and uh, caveman brains is is one that resonates here, right? We don't want old, dying, ossifying institutions. We want institutions that are vibrant and adaptive and evolve and improve over time. And the fact that there is such a thing as institutional inertia, right? The fact that the incentives are screwed up and you can't have, uh, well, the fact that the, 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 the politician in, in air quotes is incentivized to get reelected rather than legally obligated to represent you says a lot. See, that says I want dictatorship by lottery. Yeah. And you have the guy who's the least willing to do it, right? What a conversation join stream after a long break. Yeah, people are going to pull this in all sorts of different directions. It's, it's hard for me to keep it on track because, uh, well, the, the place I like to keep it on track is like, I love people. I love me. And by extension, I love you because you're a person too. And we are the same. So, my incentive and my desire and my wish is never to make anyone less than red breaks on that line or does red go into the, no red breaks on that line. Okay. Oh, I still have a cap. I still have a 10 cap. This breaks me or this, does he take his own Island? No, he goes into the pocket. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Red Fox over magenta hard. People, uh, they're the worst. All right, Black is actually going to step out, which I appreciate. Thank you, Black. Yeah.
Okay, white is also getting involved in that part of the map. Can't say I love that. What is up, Risk Takers? How you doing, Haywood? How you been, man? Uh, Wilmer the Old says, if people were actually given the opportunity to vote for themselves instead of a politician, wouldn't that just lead to even more separation? No, no, not saying vote for yourself, right? We are removing the distinction between yourself and the government, right? You would actually have the dream of a democracy, right? The ideal of a democracy. What, what does that look like? If, you, if your vote actually mattered, if it meant something, what would that look like? What would that world look like if you were free to choose instead of uh, free to choose between the choices that were chosen for you? What would you actually choose as a human? What would you believe in? What would you value, right? I believe that the vast majority of inequality is derived from bad Poorly designed or non-designed systems. Okay, that eight is trying to go up this way, but it's failing to click through. Pig is struggling with the portal UI, indeed. I believe in nothing. We believe in nothing, Lebowski. Nothing. You hear that King Charles III has cancer? I did hear that. Seems almost, uh, po almost poetic, that, you know? Has to wait his entire life to be king, and he gets it for a year or two. And then what? We got King William? What do you think Will changes his name to? It would be a George, wouldn't it? Or an Edward. George seven or Edward nine. If we follow the naming convention, I don't think it would be a King William. William five. Okay. Why do you not like fixed or you like progressive more than fixed? Personally, I like fixed a lot. I love fixed, man. I got no hate. For all sorts of different modes, they do different things, right? Fix caps on different maps is different than prog caps on different maps. And I currently wanted to play an open-ish prog caps game on Japan. That's what I wanted to play. And right now this is playing out sort of the way I wanted it to. People are actually respecting my double bonus, which is nuts. White's going to break one of them. Yeah, okay. So White is saying, I don't want to exist in that pocket anymore. Well, it says, I would like to make sure that Pete removes me from my ability to take cards in the bottom of the map. And Pete says, sure, I will avail you of that, of that option. So now you don't exist there. Smell ya. I don't think Red's angry. I think Red's a homie. For whatever reason, I feel, I feel very cushioned by Red. We were comfortable. Cradled, in fact. Anyways, tell SMG to create a Nepal map. I'd love to play in the homeland. I would love to be able to tell SMG anything, my friend. <laughs> okay. Magenta goes poppy poppy time to red. Does red try to pipe him through a portal?
Hey, thank you for the love, Andre. Thank you so much. Ha! Huh, white botted? Okay, that's gonna give his side of the board to blue. Uh, X, X, burn you to still learn this game and love watching. Could you explain portals? What do the colors on the portals mean? And is it a fixed rotation? Okay, there's two options of portals. This is unstable portals, which means they start red, which means closed. Then they open, which means every single open portal connects to every single other open portal. So one, two, three, four, five, six territories touch each other. Okay, and you connect through them, you can move through them, you can attack through them, you can fortify through them. Okay. The other thing they do is the next turn, they close and shift. So we're going to see them on new territories next turn as after Black's turn, and it rotates like that. Um, start closed, then open, then close and shift, then open, then close and shift, then open. So half the time, this map is a lot more connected than the other half of the time. Open Tanya says, yes, they all touch each other. That's correct. If I'm red, I want to go up to that white cap, I think. Okay. Is he just killing magenta? <laughs> he takes the magenta kill, baby! All right, Black steals that cap now. Oh boy, what's up, Zoom Zip? Thank you for the five gifted. Thank you so much. Black steals the red cap and fortifies. Pete, is Japan the new meta map? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, this is going to be a problem for blue before it's a problem for me. What's the set? Six?
All right, we're now in a three-player game. Uh, me, black, and blue, and white's a bot. How's the night going? Good. Good. How are you? <laughs> One man in that three-player game is massive. Yes, Pete's doing all right. We've had an okay open. Red was a homie. They eviscerated Magenta and then fed me Magenta and their own kill. <laughs> How you doing, Marcellus? What's good, buddy? I hope everyone's having fun. I also hope everyone's having fun. That's kind of the measure of success, you know? Now, Black has to try and stop me, right? Black, no! My brownness! If he just takes his own and stops, then actually I let him hold that. Okay. He has to break everything I own? Bruh! <laughs> okay, fine. No bonuses repeat. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. It's okay, it's okay. Did you just lose five troops? If I let him hold a plus six, does he keep hitting me? Let's find out. Pete, what do you think about a game mode where you can just incorporate caps in 70 or so? I said, no, it's great. I played cap 70 once. It was great. It was really fun. Okay, Black takes the 15 trade. I let them hold a plus six. The dumbest thing they could do is break my plus four. Let's see if they're dumb. The worst possible quality decision would be to break my one bonus. Yes, okay. We've learned. We've learned about Black. So we don't let Black hold anything unnecessary because they're just going to use it against us. Important to learn. God bless you, Pete. Thank you, Zach Bear. God bless you too, man. What's up, Killian Coakley? Hey, Pete, finally caught up on live after months of trying to. Welcome. Welcome, Killian. How you doing? What's up, Violent Chip? First time catching stream. I love your content. Keep up the great work. Yeah, much love to you guys. I, I'm so happy to see all the new faces always. Welcome, guys. Enjoy the stream. Thoroughly. I hope you thoroughly enjoy. Th 
think Blue's in trouble. <laughs> I don't know why Blue didn't just take White's position when they had the chance. Hey, man. <laughs> I just play the board as I see it. <laughs> so, 81 troops in four. These guys both set before me. Set is now at 25. Have you decided to karaoke? If not, I actually have an idea. Well, I, we were going to leave it to Aries the Fox, but what do you got for me, Marin? Arkin says, hey, Pete, I have the great people of Shikaku forgiven you for your insolence and reducing the value of the bonus in the great game of Risk Global Domination. You know, I never heard any flack from any of the, the, the Shikakuans. The Shikaku dudes. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, hmm. Can I go to five cards and be fine? All right, blue takes the 25 train. All right, that's a big off cap stack. Blue has almost 50% of his material off, ca off cap, folks. You know what we usually see with that? We usually see those folks lose the game. I've seen the outsider with Jared Leto. No. What if Black would try and break a North bonus? Eh, I'm I'm less worried about bonuses now, right? We're now in the mid game. We got two kills. We have three of the six capitals. Bonuses matter less now. I mean, I'll I'll try and hold one if given one, but the white bot being enormous is fucking very interesting. Where's that stack going? Ugh. Maybe we lose a 20 cap here. Oh! <laughs> All right. Let's see. Portals is perfect for Japan. Yeah, I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying this game so far. Okay, Blue decided to take a bonus. Does Black let them hold one?
Okay, so black doesn't care if blue has bonuses, but they do care if I have bonuses. This is good to know. Hey Pete, only been watching you about two weeks now. I love the content. Started playing Risk again. I've definitely started playing a little more. Like you don't stack in front of my main, I will pop you. Love the stream of the vids. Thanks, man. I'm glad you enjoy. Channel Bob says, Yo, Pete, you've taught me too much. Love your channel. Came back in a progressive game and one troop after someone failed to kill me. I was next and set and got three kills in the first one. Feels good, man. Yeah, Black's just an idiot. Okay. So we don't need to worry about um, the bonus police then. This idiot's going to let the bot win, though. Now we lose the cap. Time to hunker down, folks. Hey, thank you for the sub, Wasamata. Hey, thank you, CK. Good. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Game will end in 12 minutes with Black Suing. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Blue takes the end. Sounds good. And tries to guard the end. All right, we cool it out, folks. We cool it right out. So black is down to let blue hold shit. They just, they're not down to let me hold shit.
Focus says, have you heard about the new method for making pickles using peat smoke? They call it the dill peat strategy. Amazing. Amazing, sir. Well done. Who was a fake bot out? I thought the dill piece strategy was when Pete invited a lady over with her. What? Arkin? I can't talk about that on Twitch. Try You're trying to get me demonetized? Also notably, uh, Black doesn't, doesn't seem to care to stop the bot from holding bonuses, which is very stupid. Yeah, white black lab. Well. We think blue is accidentally card blocking me or on purpose card blocking me. Let's see how this one goes. I'm I'm curious to see what happens now. I don't think black knows what to do in the scenario. Guys, I can't I can't say that word on YouTube. Guys. We can't talk about that unless it's for educational purposes. Okay? Doesn't anyone give a fuck about the rules?
And a nice old man back heating pad going. Oh, yeah, that's going to feel good. Oh, did black bitch out like a loser? What are the cards worth? Cards are worth a thir or like a 30, about 30 right now. What's up, random users? Hmm. Is Moron back? No. Hey, Reg. Hey, bud. Hello. How are you? Ladies and gentlemen, we got the Shmopus man himself. Hi. How are you? I love you. All right, we now have 100% of our troops on capitals. I think we're in a 1v1.
The bot on bot crime is spicy. Pete, you ever think you're just suing or quitting this game? Two bots? No, no, no. I'm going to win this game now. <laughs> now I'm in a 1v1. Now I'm just in a complicated 1v1 that uh, I will probably win against Blue because I'm better than Blue. Um. <laughs> Having both of those bots. Did, did I just pull both both jokers? Are you kidding me? See that? With the, yes! We got both jokers! <laughs> you got the eye, sir. Yeah, now that I'm in a 1v1, I'm, I'm almost certain to win this game. Like, it's unlikely I get outskilled by blue, right? Blue will make a fatal mistake at some point. The trade on two. Could you imagine? That'd be so sick. No chance pulling back? There's always a chance. There's always a chance we make a fatal mistake, too. <laughs> the outskill Pete strategy. You guys are going too hard on the puns. What did I do to you? Is this what I've created? <laughs> Sergio says, the real question is, could the black bot made a comeback? I doubt it. <laughs> He's almost in, in range for me to kill him for his cards. This is an interesting one to watch. You learn a lot about how the bot plays. Ah! Holding both the jokers. Beetlejuice says, I once held both jokers for 10 rounds and won the game. Wow. Looks like we're going for the black kill. Okay. Remember what I was saying about a fatal error? Expensive. 
Oh, and he fed it too. He didn't even get it. Remember what I said? Remember what I said was going to happen, guys? Lol. He didn't even get the kill. He spent so many troops on that kill. Poor guy. Poor guy, Blue. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, old pal. <laughs> oh. And now black is everywhere on the board again. <laughs> you can't even clean them up. Do you take a kill if Black takes a fourth card? Um, right now I'm kind of eyeing up the cap run. But no, I still don't even have quite enough troops. It's close, though. Maybe he goes for the Black Hill again. You think you think black worth it? Chain to the cap run. Let's see if he gets it then. All right. We're now in a 1v1 plus bot. The white bot has 464 troops. So white bot's like equal to me. Blue's probably equal to me too, right? After the set. Yeah, okay. Blue's a slight troop lead.
Oh, I don't care. I don't need to. I don't need to kill that bot. Don't you worry. Have you heard or seen this video? High Ren by Ren. I have not. I'm not trying to do much right now. I'm just trying to wait for Blue to fuck up. All right, well, at least Blue didn't fuck that up. was a tricky one to click on. There. Let's try this. Blue wants it. Blue likes that cap. Let's see. Blue seems pretty good, yeah. Yeah, blue seems pretty good. I'd give them uh they're they're not a GM, but you know, I'd 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 give them, you know, intermediate, maybe expert, maybe master sort of thing.
Ooh, we pulled the Joker. <laughs> well played from a top 500 GM that learned how to play from watching your channel. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Still got both the Jokers. How do you know? Um, mechanics. He doesn't move like a GM. So if he is a GM, he's fairly new. He isn't decisive, right? He isn't mechanically quick. We could look him up. You guys want to tell me if Solange on is a GM? Why the switch on caps? I'm fucking bored, man. That other cap seems to be heavily stacked on, though. So eventually, Blue's, Blue's card options are going to be more expensive than mine from switching. Yeah, I don't really want his one cap though. I don't want that cap in the corner. Not really doesn't really earn you a ton of cards. He was smart to leave it. Oh, we got a question from Aries the Fox, folks. Alright, are you ready? Hey Pete! You are Worf. You accidentally destroyed a civilian ship during a skirmish with the Klingons. A hearing is held to determine whether you should be extradited to the Klingon Empire. Oh no. Oh, I wouldn't go there. I got my ass beat up there. Um, in your hearts, you wanted the Klingons to attack. You didn't confirm the ship was military before firing, only that it decloaked in front of you. Did you act improperly, or is it the standard impossibly high rules of engagement? I don't remember this episode. Destroying a civilian ship. Hmm. Well, I I don't not not knowing the the specifics, I would have to say that the uh, the details matter the most here. Like, is what what is the standard that we are trying to hold ourselves to? Well, this game is mind numbing now. Part of me just wants to give it to Blue. See, I think the extradition part should be off the table, right? Whether or not you're a Klingon um, by by birth, you're a Federation military officer. So the idea that a military organization would extradite one of their own um, active service members who accidentally fired on a civilian ship in the act of duty, all right, that seems like that should be off the table. So I would say um, the problem here is that um, the Federation would be willing to do something like that. The problem is that the the Federation being willing to um, sell out one of its own military officers to a foreign military power just seems like categorically unacceptable. I think you messed up not killing black and swimming on blue. How many fucking times do you think I hear shit like this in my chat? <laughs> How many fucking times do you think? Like, oh, you didn't. Was this the move? Was that the move? You know what? I don't even fucking care, man. 
I guarantee you I mess up a lot. I mess up a lot in these games. I am an imperfect human being. What do we do here? Like, what the fuck? I don't think that Blue knows what to do either. Johnny says the chat is better than you. They are always the best. <laughs> what do we think? What do we actually think here, right? Like, obviously, Blue's not going to fuck up either. So Blue's just going to take the exact same place that I'm taking. But they're keeping two capitals, which I think is an error. I think eventually... Um, Eventually, they get fucking slammed. How many FFA points do you have? Oh, I don't know. I don't even care. I don't care to prove anything. Like, assume I'm shitty. <laughs> assume I'm shitty and I don't know what I'm doing. And then we'll learn. And we'll learn along the way, right? I think I was close to having a cap run, but I didn't take the risk. Which is sort of uh, the name of the game. Okay, so I like this. I'm fine with this right now. This is an okay state of being. The five hundred looks super car blockable. Yeah, with the unstable portals and the giant ass bot, card blocking is a very risky proposition. All right, we're over a thousand troops for blue. Does blue go back to his original cap? He does. He does go back to his original. Okay. Well, that was a weird fortify. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Uh, Now you want to play a new game? I don't mind. Yeah, it might be who gets bored first. Well, I mean, we just can't have them stacking on that cap, so. And of course, we don't trade our Joker because that would be dumb. Um, I mean, now actually does look though like like I'm losing this one, so let's see. Why doesn't bot hit the two fifty? It should. Bot's not very good, is the problem. 
Bots are not very good. What's up? Red Dignor. Woohoo. First time I watched the stream. I learned a lot. Thanks for your videos. And I just reached Grandmaster. Welcome to the ranks of Grandmaster. Red Dignor. Hello. Ah, oh, the stack is sticking on me, folks. The stack wants a piece of the peat, men. You're technically beating blue. You just have to let him go to war with white. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, there's no good cap cards off that 300. Ooh, lucky man. You got that stack to split. And move to me? That was a great move. I don't know. I don't know, folks. It's possible blue doesn't fuck up. Shoot. Oh. Oh. Oh! Well, that wasn't a good move. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you it was going to happen. Oh! Oh, shit! Yeah. Yeah. Good game, bro. Don't get the kill. Oh, oh, oh,
Well, we're happy with this outcome. I keep the Joker. <laughs> Blue finally gave up. Yeah, man. That's how it was always going to be. Thank you for watching, guys. Ah, master. Yeah, almost GM. GG, man. Defeating one novice, two intermediates, one expert, and a master. Solange. He's like, fuck this. <laughs> the white player did end up getting second, correct? Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.